Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for the 26th of September, 2017. I hope you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. And um, just wanted to let you guys know that I uh, just finished uh, my very first podcast. And I am going to have a link for it um, either in this video or I might make a uh, another video um, with a link in it. Just so you guys can, uh, yeah, check it out. It's not very long. It's about 20 minutes. And uh, you guys can download it for free. Um, I would never charge for it. Um, but, yeah, you guys can just download it and listen to it at your convenience. No data, extra data or anything like that. And, yeah. So, now that that's out of the way, um, it's it's... Pretty cool um, to, to do podcasting again. It's just, uh, it's something that I feel the Lord has blessed me with one of the talents. And, you know, um, we can't be burying our talents and, and not serving the best that we can. You know, it's easy to get caught up in a lot of these, uh, these high watch times and, uh, you know, get caught up with what other people say, but, um, the only thing that we need to guide us is the Holy Spirit, plain and simple in the word of God, you know, um, and, you know, not paying attention to, you know, anything else, no numbers, no feast days, you know, the Lord says, I have no desire or, or, uh, you know, joy in your feast days or your burnt sacrifices, your new moons, uh, and all that. He has no interest in it anymore. So if we're looking to feast days, okay, I I, I hate to break it to you guys, but we're not uh, Old Testament Jews. You know, um, we are church age Christians. We're the bride. We're the faithful bride. So, um you know, we are supposed to be provoking the Jews uh, to jealousy, not us following things like that, okay? And this is something that, you know, the Lord says he's going to come at a time that we don't expect. So I highly recommend you stop looking at, at feast days um, and and just get it out of your mind, okay? Because, you know, the only thing that is important is Pentecost when Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit and obviously um, when uh, you know Passover he's the Passover lamb he is the sacrifice the final sacrifice there is no more uh, feasts all these Jewish feasts why would we be looking at at uh, the Jewish feast days we shouldn't celebrate them we're not we're not um, we're not Old Testament uh, Jews and he doesn't want he doesn't want us focusing on on the past we're to be looking to his glorious appearing and edifying one another you know and and just encouraging one another and, and being the salt and light of the earth and um, and that's the key to all of this is just being in good cheer, because if we're constantly uh, looking for these things and not focusing on the Lord, then it's it's a form of idolatry, because we're obsessed about the creation, not the Creator. We're obsessed with um, things that we shouldn't be um, overly obsessed about. Does that mean we're not excited for His appearing? No, we're excited for his appearing, but we're not vexing ourselves or putting in a, an uneven yoke upon our neck. You know, Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. And if we're not in peace, that's we are not wearing our shoes. You know, when when we put on the whole armor of God, we have to put on our shoes. And if we're not in peace, if we're not shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, then we're not living our 
our true walk in the Lord. Okay. And so I just want to encourage you guys to, to be at peace, to say, Lord, you know, you said that I can lay my burdens at your feet and you will give me peace. I take your yoke because I know it's light and I cast all of my burdens at your feet and know your authority in the Lord. You know, the reason why the Antichrist hasn't shown up is because the restrainer is still here. Who's the restrainer? The Holy Spirit of God that dwells inside of us. We are the restrainer and we must continue to restrain the evil. I don't think we fully comprehend that. Okay, we're quenching our own spirits by by zeroing in on all this all this stuff when we're not focusing on the peace, the prince of peace and and doing the father's business and that is what we got to do is we got to encourage one another and love one another and encourage the lost and help them to seek the truth before it's too late and they don't have any hope once we're gone. I don't think we fully understand that we're praying to leave and we're praying to abandon a bunch of people who who need the Lord more than ever. And so, you know, we, uh, we're the salt and light. We got to stay full of oil. We can't let... We cannot get wound up in any dates whatsoever anymore, okay? We need to do this because I think part of the great falling away is 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 tied into these dates and these things. And the reason why the Lord gave us this, you know, um, you know, ability to not know the day or time is so that we're at peace. We're not, you know, um, we're not wasting our time and I am the biggest uh, person who needs to repent of this so that's why I'm doing this I'm doing the podcast I'm going to start working on other things writings um, other teachings and stuff like that and to encourage you guys and um, to stand in the gap okay so I love you guys uh, thanks for checking this out. I hope you guys check out the podcast. Um, it'll be up soon. And yeah, thanks again. If I don't see you in the comments tonight, I'll have another message for you soon. Peace be with you.